What is going on, everybody? So the new season is upon us, and when it starts, I will be doing live streams and uploading much more frequently. Um, so I'll soon let you guys know what the live streaming schedule will be, and we'll just go from there. Um, now, in this video, I wanted to show you guys a way that you can consistently win games in this new season and if anybody is you know trying to grind for points or if you're trying to get to that mythical rank i'm going to show you in this game how you can do that using the celestial fighter build now the key thing here is one remy remy skill two i believe that's the skill i have right now is very important to get your gold at the start and also the secondary thing is you really now that you can pick a hero at the start, if you can, go ahead and get that Diggy and Chow. Pick on that Diggy, and as far as I've done it, every single time I've also gotten a Chow. And doing it this way with the Celestial build is very different from any other build because you do not need to get a 3-star for this for it to be strong. In fact, you can even start leveling up your commander with one star heroes the main thing at the start is just try to get a martis and try to get a carry so also an argus argus is going to stay in there the whole time if you can go ahead and get that flicker spell at the start on him it's just going to help your initial team fight um yeah so the most important thing with this this build is to get a lot of gold at the start so that way you can upgrade your commander earlier than your opponents and get to like level 7 commander, level 8 commander. That way we can start to find the, the Gato, Zask, all the core heroes, the more expensive heroes. So really you don't have to worry about any cheap heroes. Like even if your Mardis is still at 1 star, you can still move on and get this build going with the three celestials in because as soon as you get the carry in there maybe a cyclops um or perhaps the tank tank hero either way once you get those three heroes in you're going to be pretty strong at the start and late game with this build uh, it's really finished at level nine commander that way you can put the yu zhong in and have your Zask and Yuzhong be super powerful and mainly the Zask guys because Zask is kind of overpowered right now and he's definitely definitely can help you rank up so we got a two-star carry here without I mean we really haven't cycled our shop at all I think and we're looking exactly how we would want to be at this point so you're going to want to have one random fighter. I forgot to mention that. I usually pick Zilong because he is a one gold hero and you're going to trade him out for Thamos uh, later on or once you find him. Uh, basically after you get to level 7 commander you have a chance of finding him. So whenever I'm doing this build I always pick up any carries I would see. Almost like if you're building a northern veil every time you see a freya you're gonna want to pick her up well it's the same way with carrie because she usually isn't a marksman that too many people um have or I should say it's it's easier to get her to level three and since she's a three gold hero there's plenty of opportunities to grab her so just go ahead grab her whenever for now we're going to go ahead and put our physical items on to carrie but late game, those physical items will actually be going on to Zask. Because believe it or not, he is uh, he does gain damage from physical items. And can use their effects also, like the healing. And he is just such a monster in the back. Once you have uh, the transformation complete. Once you have the Yuzong at the very end. And so we have hit the first boss and we are at level 7 commander. And that is pretty much the, the whole center of this build, guys, is to be at around this point at this stage with a ton of gold, 
we're not even going to cycle our shop here. We're just going to get to level 8 commander, and then we can find our six uh, celestial heroes. And the one, the extra celestial hero is, um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> uh, Cyclops. So Cyclops uh, is the one that I choose to take out. You can choose to take out the Mincitar, but I really like his stuns, his shield that he gives off. And I feel like Cyclops is the weakest. You obviously need the Mardis for the fighter synergy. And you can see here that without cycling at all, we we got him to two star. And it really doesn't matter if he's one or two star. Um, now, if you, I mean, if you do get like six copies at the very start, I guess you can get him to three star. But that isn't a high probability. So I just really wouldn't worry about it unless you are getting just an absolute ton of them now even though our heroes we have no three stars really and no we don't have any three stars and we still have the chow and diggy in there but the fact that we're so leveled up have so many heroes out there and that they have the celestial effect the attack speed it really makes your team a lot stronger and you can see here, so we pick up the Thamos. We're going to immediately trade him out for the Zlong. Go ahead and sell him. He is no longer needed. Now we have an Abyss Synergy in there, defense down. It's going to make all of the heroes do a little bit more damage. Um, able to get the Gato also at a pretty early stage. Well, this is a pretty early stage of the game. But we're already at level 8 commander, so these, these heroes that we need are going to be popping up now. And yeah, we are looking very good on power also. Now one of the great things about this build is if you can find one wrestler synergy, as I just did, now with um, Badang and Gato, now all you have to do is throw that... Uh, that wrestler's synergy on either your Zask or your carry. I, I usually wait till I get my Zask to two star before I put items on him. And right now we are missing the Bedang, but I'm at 40 gold right now. So I just, I decided to just wait around. I know that I'm not going to lose um, just by looking at the power of the items I have and everything. Uh, you can see Gato is already doing some good CC, even at one star, and I love Gato, guys. He is such a stable hero. He does so well with the three fighters in there, and really, really like it. Okay, so here we are at 53 gold and 36 gold for the upgrade, so we're just a tiny bit shy, but so close, just going to wait, and... This is why this build in particular is so different, guys, because you can just constantly upgrade, you can scale super hard, and your heroes are going to be effective late game. So it's a very, very consistent build. And take out this SS real quick. Physical lifesteal and carry is really good. Um... And this is definitely the role we were looking for. We get our Bedang, um, get our Cyclops, which I will be cycling him out. And now you see that it is time to fit everything in. Go ahead and sell our Chow and our Diggy now. The whole time since the first round, we have been making extra gold from them. So not only do we have Remy's skill of gold, but we are getting gold from them until the very end and that is how long i like to keep them in just keep them at get them to level two if you can diggy usually uh sometimes i don't even get him to level two it doesn't really matter because we're just using them to get to this point that we are at level nine commander you have three fighters you have an abyss synergy and you have one wrestler synergy and obviously the six celestial. Awesome. And the shapeshifter is probably the most important part. So this is really just our front line. That is, you see how strong the front line is here. 
We do not have a Zask yet, and that is really your strongest hero in the back line. Zask is going to be the hero that gets you the Ws. The build in itself is going to get you to a top ranking. It's going to make you um, be, yeah, be in the top of the game, but the Zask is what is really going to win the game for you. That, and I would say Gato also, so... Focus your items um, off of them. So as soon as we get the Zax to two star, I'll be switching over what items I have on carry to him. And yeah, we don't have any three stars and that is really how it's going to be unless you get to this point and then three star, you know, the carry, Zask, even Yu Zhang, as long as you're upgrading fast, there's definitely chances that you can do that. And yeah, like I was saying, a team of three stars, like this 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 team here of two stars can outbeat that team. Now, once the Zask gets going, he never really stops and just becomes more and more powerful, more of a powerhouse. We have that wrestler synergy on him also. So not only is he doing really good damage, but he's also putting CC on the team. Able to pick up the upgrade here. It doesn't really matter, but always get it because you don't want the person behind you to get it. So if even if you don't need the upgrade, you don't need another hero in there, Make sure you always get that upgrade so that way your opponents don't get it. You know, just competing against yourself at that point if you let them take it. Um, yeah, guys, and coming into this season, like I said, we'll I'll start doing the live streams, learn how to do that. The I'll be able to put out a lot more content with that start when that starts because. You know, I'll just be talking and record that, and then I can just quickly edit that video I mean I'll get better at editing and all that but it's just going to be a lot easier than how I've been using my phone now okay so we got carry to level three um, that's nothing too surprising and since she's level three I'm just going to put those items on her because now she is really a powerhouse if she was still level two I would keep the items on Zask but as you'll see here, they really can't even touch her. She just has so much attack speed, so much hit points. Here we go, guys. And as the goal for this season is to get top global and to get my win rate just as high as possible. So right now it's at 84. I want to go higher than that. 